All right, Shalom Wam, Shalom Wam. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bashom, Yahweh Shai, Bashom, Racha Kodash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return and double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Just flowing through the spirit, just flowing through the spirit. So, you know, for those who don't know, when you flow through the spirit, you basically just speak on whatever whatever the Lord, the Heavenly Father, puts into your mind. Now, uh, okay, so the Lord basically um, put put the uh, the nuclear talks in my mind, and that's, that and you know what? It, it, it's the spirit that you know. He put the spirit of nuclear talks in my mind because nuclear talks, there's been a lot of talks of, of nukes, uh, uh, of a nuclear war in the news, <clears throat> okay? But before the nuclear war can happen, right? Before the nuclear war can happen, which um, nuclear war is one of the main major prophecies that will come to pass. But before that, the CHIP, that have to come to pass, okay? <clears throat> so the MOTB, the marketer, you know what? That have to come to pass before the nuclear war can happen. I mean, now, of course, you know, the Lord can do whatever he wants, but according to the book of Numbers, chapter 23, verse 19, it says that the heavenly father is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he said it, shall he not do it? So uh, actually, let me um, I, let's go to Second Peter. <laughs> okay, uh, two Peter. Yeah, let, let's 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 go to two Peter. But um, <laughs> okay um, I'm I'm trying to look for where is it? Okay, okay, here we go. Yeah. Okay, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10, right? It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. And the reason why the scriptures say that the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night is because hardly anybody is watching for the, the prophecies. Yo, is that a chariot? Hey, brought to the Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. I just spotted a chariot. Hey, all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Hey, that's a chariot. That's a so called UFO right there. Hey, Barakatha Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But, um, <clears throat> hey, you know what? The Lord, the Lord will do things like that, you know? Sometimes when you look up, you'll uh, you'll see chariots, you know, you'll see uh, so-called UFOs and the Holy Scriptures. They're known as the chariots of Israel and the angels, which are dark skinned men with woolly hair, as the Holy Scriptures describe to you. Right. The angels pilot those so-called UFOs. Okay, the angels pilot those so-called UFOs. Yeah. Look at 
that one move. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely moving. But, uh, you know, the angels, okay, the angels pilot those uh, so-called UFOs. But um, I don't want to get off topic. Second Peter chapter uh, three, verse 10, right? But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night into which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. That great noise is going to come from the sound of nuclear warheads exploding. You see? Because there's going to be a nuclear war. Okay? There's going to be a nuclear war. Okay, World War III is going to happen and it's going to escalate into a nuclear war. So it says, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Look all around you. Everything you see around you, everything that you see around you is made from elements. Now, the so-called white man would tell you what well, this is cement, you know, this is asphalt, this is metal, this is plastic, this is aluminum. But at the end of the day, they are elements. And guess what? They can be melted, especially at certain temperatures. They can be melted, especially at, at, at a high, high, uh, hot temperatures okay so there are elements your body my body is made up of elements okay our bodies can be melted at, at, at a certain temperatures you see so the scriptures say that the elements shall melt with fervent heat the word fervent means extremely hot. Now they say that the explosion of a nuclear bomb can reach up to nearly the same temperature as the surface of the sun. Think about that. That's pretty fucking hot, okay? Picture the sun being extremely close to the earth. And, and, you, and you will have a good idea of, 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 of what fire or, or the uh, radiation, fire and radiation from, from a nuclear explosion feel like. So the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also in the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Another word for dissolve is melted. Because all, all this shit is going to melt. Okay? This is all going to melt. Seeing then that these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Right. What type of person you should be seeing that this is going to happen? Inevitably, this is, this is all going to happen. So what manner of person ought ye to be in this truth? Should, should, should you be carnal, beating up people because they ask you where a Taco Bell spot is at or because they make threats to you? No. You're supposed to do the things that are pleasing to the Lord to the best of your ability. You see? You should be, you should be doing things that are pleasing to the Lord to the best of your ability. You know, and then you got you got Israelite groups out there that are misleading their congregation. They're not telling them about the nuclear war. They're not telling them about coming martial law. They're not telling them about concentration camps, guillotines, uh, monsters, apparitions, how how America's going to be hit with, with the same plagues that e ancient Egypt was hit with. 
They're not telling them about disease warfare or food shortages. They're not telling them. They're not telling them about any of those things. And more importantly, the MOTB. I mean, IUIC is speaking on it, but they say, you know, hey, you, uh, the the so you know, the so-called white man is gonna hold you down, and they're basically uh, look, man, look. The scriptures say that you're going to have to make a decision. So they can't just put it inside you and say, ha, 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 ha. There's no hope for you now, boy. Nah, it's it, it's it's going to be a decision. You're going to have to decide. You see, but Lord's well, you know, I'll do a video on that. Now, let's go to uh, the book of 1 Peter, okay? 1 Peter, <laughs> 1 Peter, right? <laughs> nah, all right, this is this the, this the book of 1 uh, Peter, <laughs> 1 Peter, right? <laughs> this is the book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, verse 17. It says, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. What does that mean? Judgment is going to start with those who know they are Israelites. Because you got a lot of guys out there. They're calling themselves Hebrew Israelites, but they are wicked. Their, their mind is not right with the Lord. So judgment is going to start with them. And judgment can come in many ways, forms, and fashions. Judgment can come in the form of police shootings. It can come in the form of car, so so-called car accidents. You know, you might get into a car crash and lose your life. Or 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 even the Lord, the Lord does not have to punish you directly. He can he can he can target your children. Okay, look at the woman in the book of, of, of uh, First Kings, okay? The, 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 the woman, she, uh, her son died, her son, uh, I believe her son died from, from, from an illness. You know, I mean, even though the, the Lord uh, used Elijah to bring him back to life, but still, the point is, is the point is that the Lord does not have to target you directly. He could target somebody in your family that, that you love so dearly. He could target your son, your mother, your father, your sister. The Heavenly Father can target whoever. So judgment is going to start with those who know they are Israelites. They calling themselves a Hebrew Israelite on camera they appear to be this righteous, almighty, all all-knowing sage Hebrew Israelite, but off camera, they smoking weed, they eating pork, they committing adultery, they're not keeping the high holy days correctly. They're not doing any of those things. So the Lord is gonna deal with you. Okay? This truth is not a fucking game. Now, I, I don't care if I'm using so-called curse words. I don't give a fuck, okay? If you don't like how I'm speaking, you can go, you can go watch uh, G -G Gino Jennings, okay? That, that, that bald head nigga, hey, he, he's, he, he, he's the uh, political correct type of nigga. I'm not that dude, okay? I'm gonna tell you to. Uh, I'm gonna tell it to you straight up. If you don't get right with the Lord, the the Heavenly Father and His Son is gonna fuck you up, and that's the reality of things. But with that, I'm gonna say shalom. It's on to the next one.